Hi and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be work working with um, forms and submitting data through a form and we'll be using PHP to handle that um, form data but we'll also be looking at data validation. So um, that means ensuring that the user has entered in some data and that the data is in the correct format. Okay, so for this example what we'll do is um, create a form which asks for a, um, a user's postcode and email address and then we'll check that they've actually entered in both of those things and that they're in the correct format. So we'll check that the postcode or zip code is a number and we'll check that the email address is um, a, 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 in the correct email address format. Okay, so to start with I have um, my uh, index.php file here so I just have a, a PHP file which will contain the uh, form and then I have an action handler.php file which will handle the form data. Okay, so in this index.php file I've got some HTML code, so I've got the head and body section, and now I'm going to add the actual form um, to the body section. Okay, so I'm going to use the form tag, I'll say form action equals, and then I'll refer to this action handler file, so action underscore handler.php. Okay, and we're using the post, post method. Okay. All right, there we go. So we've got form action equals action underscore handler dot PHP and method equals post. I'll just close off that form tag now and then make some space inside those two form tags to add the actual form. So firstly, we'll add um, a paragraph of text. So enter a post code and email address just to prompt the user. Okay, and then we can create a new paragraph and inside that we can um, we can put the input type for postcode um, so that the user can enter in their postcode. So we'll do that now. So postcode, make some space, input type equals text. So we're just using a simple text box to enter in the postcode and then we'll make the name postcode or zip or whatever you want to put in there. Okay, and then close that paragraph. We'll make a new paragraph and you don't need to actually put these inside paragraphs. You can just use the break tag or you can all have all of this on one line. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to put them in, um, in paragraphs just to space them out. So email address and we'll put input type equals so text box again so just put input type equals text and then name equals email so we'll give this a name of email okay and then lastly we'll just have the submit button so input type equals uh, submit and um, if we want we can put value equals submit as well Okay, or um, send or something like that, just to display on the button. Okay, so that's that. I'll just close off that paragraph. I've already closed off the form here. So basically, we've just got a heading. Um, uh, well, not a heading, but we could make that a heading, actually. Might make it a H3 size heading instead of a paragraph. So I've got a heading here that says, enter a postcode and email address. And then it has the text box for postcode and a e uh, text box to enter an e email address and then a submit button. So we'll go and have a look at what that looks like. All right, there we go. So that's what it looks like at the moment. All right, we could change the width um, of these fields as well. So maybe make the email address one a little bit wider and the postcode one a little bit shorter, but we don't need to worry about that for now. Okay, so now um, we've got the action as actionhandler.php and we're using the post method. So now we need to go to the actionhandler.php file and start adding in the PHP code. So I'll just put the PHP tags there. And inside the tags, the first thing we need to do is check that the postcode field is not left empty by the user. So make sure that they've actually, actually entered in a postcode or a zip code, okay? Um, so if it's not empty, then we can collect the data from that field. And then we can check if it's not numeric. So if it's not numeric, if it's not a number, um, then we can tell them that they, the user, that they must enter a um, postcode that is a number. All right. Otherwise, we can um, 
just say you must enter a postcode if they um, if it, the field's left empty, if they haven't entered anything at all. All right. Um, and then we can go and check the email address in the same way, but we'll also validate um, the email address and make sure it's in the correct format. So to start with, we'll say if not empty, so exclamation mark there, if not empty, and then inside other brackets, we'll put dollar sign underscore post, and then in square brackets, we'll put in the name of that um, name of that text box, which was postcode. Okay. So postcode. Okay, and then we can just um, finish off that. So that's the uh, condition there. So if not empty, um, dollar sign underscore post, postcode. All right, and now we can have what will we'll specify what will happen if it's not empty, that text box. Okay, so we can say postcode, make a new variable, postcode equals dollar sign underscore post. And then just post code again. So it's going to grab that that data from the text box and store it in a variable. And then inside this other if statement, we can add another if statement. And then we can use this new function here called is numeric. So we can say if not is numeric. So if it's not a numeric number, and we need to specify um, what we're actually checking, which is that variable post code. Okay, so if it's not numer numeric, if the postcode is not a number, then what we'll do is set postcode to null. Okay, and we'll echo out, we'll display this message, you must enter, um, or maybe just say postcode must be numeric. Okay, so they must enter a numeric postcode. And we'll just make the break tag there, put that in there because we might need to also say the same message if the email address is not in the correct format or if no email address was entered. Okay, so that would be on a new line. All right, so that's that. Um, we've finished off this whole entire if statement here. So firstly, we're checking that the postcode is not left empty. And if it's not left empty, we're storing it in a variable. Um, if it's not numeric, then we'll tell them that it's not, um, that it must be um, numeric and we'll set the postcode to, to null. So later on, uh, further down this code, we'll then check if the postcode is not null. And then um, if it's not null, we can um, assume that the postcode has been entered and that it's been entered in the correct format. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll check the email address. So we'll say, if not empty, so the same sort of deal here. If not empty, oops, let me get these brackets right. If not empty, um, dollar sign underscore post email. All right, so checking the email address now. So checking that it's not left empty. If it's not left empty, then we'll create a new variable which will contain um, whatever's entered in that email field. Okay, just like that. So say email equals dollar sign underscore post email. All right, and then we'll have another if statement inside here. We'll say if, and this is where we actually check that the uh, postcode, uh, sorry, that the email address being entered is in the correct format. And what we can do is use filter var. So we're saying if not filter underscore var. All right, and then we can use this inbuilt method to check. Um, using filter var, we can use this um, inbuilt method in PHP to check um, that it's the email address is in the correct format. So it's quite easy. All we need to do is add a bracket here and there's two um, arguments here. We've got firstly what we want to check, which is the variable email. So we want to check that email address and then the type of filter we're using to um, validate the data, which is filter underscore validate underscore email. Okay. All right. So basically what we're saying here is um, we've got if not filter var and then email and filter validate email. What we're saying is if this email address is not in a valid or correct format, so if it's not an actual email address, it's just maybe gibberish or um, nothing at all, um, or not a proper email address, then we can say dollar sign email equals null. So we'll set that to null and then display a message um, email address 
is not in the correct format. Okay, and uh, that's basically basically it for that section. We'll just add a semicolon at the end of the line there. Okay, pretty easy. Then what we'll do um, is we can have an else statement. All right, so we can say we've got here if filter var email filter validate email. Um, so if the email is not in a correct format, then we'll say email equals null and tell them um, that they haven't entered in the correct format. All right, then what we'll have after that is an else statement. Okay, so else dollar sign email uh, equals null. And then we'll just say uh, echo, you must enter an email. You must enter an email address. Uh, and we might just need to put in a break there as well. Okay, so there's just something I realized now that I've forgotten is that um, we've just checked whether the email address is not empty. And then if it's not empty, then we um, put it into a variable and we check that it's in a valid format. And then we've said else, um, if the email is null, uh, sorry, we'll say else set email to null, you must enter an email address. So basically if um, the email address field is empty, but we didn't do that for the postcode. So just need to add that up here. And we need to say um, dollar sign postcode equals null echo um, something like you must enter a postcode. Okay, so just need to remember to do that. I'll just add a break there as well. So um, now the last part is basically just to check that both the postcode and the email are not null. And then um, we can go ahead and use the postcode and email address in some way. So we'll just simply display it and back to the user. But we'll say if and uh, then we'll have two um, conditions here that must be met. So first one will be, in, in we'll put this in brackets, postcode not equal null, all right? And then two ampersands, two end signs. So and dollar sign email is not equal to null. So what we're saying is if the postcode is not equal to null, and the email is not equal to null, um, then echo email, double sign email, um, and then maybe a break here, postcode, dollar sign postcode. Okay, so what that will do is it will have, it will say email and then it will put the email address next to it, make a new line, it will say postcode, and put the user's postcode next to that. Okay, we can save that. Just to quickly sum that up again, we're firstly checking that the postcode is not left empty, that the text box is not left empty. If it's not left empty, then we'll put it into a variable and we'll check if it's not numeric. If it's not numeric, then we'll tell the user that they must enter a um, numeric postcode. Otherwise, if the postcode was left empty, then we'll set it to null and say they must enter a postcode. Okay, so both these conditions here will be set to null. Um, so whether it's not numeric or it hasn't been entered, it'll be set to null. Then we'll go and check the email address. So we'll check if that's not empty. And if it's not empty, we'll put it into a variable. And then we'll check um, that it's not valid. If it's not valid, we'll set that to null and tell the user that it's not in the correct format. Um, otherwise, if the um, email address uh, is left empty, then it will also be set to null and they'll be told to enter an email address. Then right at the end, we'll check if both the postcode and the email address are not equal to null. So they're both valid, they've both, both been entered, then we'll just display it back to the user. There. Okay, let's save that. And I'll refresh this page and I'll enter in a postcode. So I'll just go 2000, which is Sydney's postcode. And then just test at test.com submit, and there we go, we see email, and then the actual email address, the postcode, and the actual postcode. 
if I go back and change it, so maybe I put um, some letters in here, like two um, B zero P, and then maybe I put um, two at symbols in the email address and submit. It says postcode must be numeric and email address is not in the correct format. Okay, um, and then if I went and left one of them empty, it says you must enter a postcode and it still says email address is not in the correct format. Okay, so um, the postcode, in other words, postcode cannot be left empty. Um, and if it does contain a value, then it must be numeric. And the email address also cannot be left empty and it must be valid. So it must, um, it must have an ID, it must have an at symbol, and then it must have some sort of domain after it as well in the correct format. So um, that's basically how to validate um, data using PHP from a form. Um, and we've validated data, making sure that data has been entered and that data is numeric. And we've also validated email addresses. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.